Hallelujah. Facebook, good morning. Best Speech, Double A Princess Mo, Johnny Mary, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Edwards, good morning. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Rest 2017. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tobosco, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yusuf Dayo, good morning. Hallelujah. RDN 1929, good morning. Adolf Young, good morning. Shadi Adiase, good morning. Chinyere, good morning. Jumai Samoni, good morning. Praise the Lord, or good afternoon, or good day, or good evening, or good uh, night, wherever you may be. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My name is Pastor Chusey. I'm delighted to be your friend and to spend this precious time with you. Trevor 06, good morning. I am uh, situated in Atlanta. If you do happen to come by, please come see me. We'll be glad to make you comfortable in Glory House where we, where God dwells. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory. I'm going to try and get this camera correct and in position nicely. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please share with your followers, invite your followers, invite your friends, share on Facebook, invite your followers. Zubi Samuel, good morning. Please share with your friends on Facebook and just share with your followers on Periscope. Invite your followers on Periscope, share with your friends on Facebook. Glory be to God. Elizabeth, good morning. London, Evangelist Bimi, good morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We give God praise. We give God glory. Hen Hab, good morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We bless you. We thank you. We appreciate you. We exalt you. We magnify your name. You're beautiful. You're wonderful, you're great, and greatly to be praised. Blessed be the name of the Lord, in Jesus' name. And God's people said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Before we go on, let's take our daily confession. If you don't have it, text me so I can send it to you. Good morning, Catherine. I'll send it to you by email. Send me your email address. Let's declare it. In the name of Jesus, say that. In the name of Jesus, I declare that this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father, for waking me up this morning. Thank you for waking me up today. Thank you for this beautiful day. In Jesus' name, I declare that today is my day of joy. It's my day of gladness. It's my day of increase. It's my day of breakthrough. It's my day of mega favor. It's my day of wisdom. It's my day of victory. It's my day of understanding. It's my day of breakthrough. It's my day of lifting. Hallelujah. This is my winning day. This is my winning day. This is my winning day. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Today I call for abundant harvest. Hello, MJ. I call for abundant harvest from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we give you praise. I agree with your people that this is our winning day. In Jesus' name. And God's people said a big amen, amen. We've been looking at dreams from God all of this week. This is the fifth part. I trust that you've been blessed as I have been blessed sharing them with you. We're looking at different types of dreams, uh, classes of dreams, revelation dream, prophetic dream, healing dream, 
deliverance dream, warning dream, repeated dream, increased dream, exposition dream, guidance dream, dream within a dream, uh, vision dream or trance, medical science or hospital dream, rebuke and correction dream, alert dreams, anointing dreams, or ministry commission dreams. We looked at business dreams. These are some of the things we looked at. If you remember, we also did look at uh, types of dreams, uh, chasing dreams, father figure dreams, uh, money dreams, running or trekking dreams, animal dreams, uh, someone dying, death dreams or dying dreams, sea and ocean and water dreams, creatures and insects and all that, nakedness dreams, celebration or party or feasting dreams, we looked at flying dreams, falling dreams, driving dreams, past relationship dreams, birthing dreams, weather dreams, house and home dreams, death and dying dreams, fighting dreams, body parts dreams, a lot of dreams. Uh, glory be to God. Today, let's look at briefly, I won't keep you, it's a Saturday. And I want to spend time uh, taking on your dreams and spending time talking to you about them, if you do have. Uh, thank you for being my friend. Thank you for following on Facebook and Periscope. Thank you so much for your responses, your emails. Your, I mean, some people text me like three, four, five dreams at the same time. Uh, up to last night, I was, but I made sure I took care of personally took care of all the dreams that people sent me. It took a whole day, but we got the job done. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. How do I know that this dream is from God? In Genesis 28, hallelujah. Genesis 28, verse 10 to 19. Genesis 28, verse 10 to 19. It talks about how Joseph left and he got to a place and he dreamed a dream, verse 12. He dreamed a dream and behold, a ladder was set up on the earth and the, the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. Wow. After he woke up, he said, surely the Lord is in this place. How did he know that the Lord was there? One of the ways you'll know that a dream is from God is that the dream speaks and helps you and directs you by itself. Right now, I want to pray for 25 people who need the gift of dream interpretation. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for 25 people watching right now who desire the gift of dream interpretation. I pray for them that you would open their understanding by impartation and they would just understand parables, dark sayings, poetic uh, meanings, symbols and signs in the dreams, that they would understand them, comprehend them, and understand what thus said the Lord. I ask for that wisdom to be given to them by your spirit that they would not be in a hurry, they would slow down and think it through and write it through and meditate it through and wait on the Lord to speak to them concerning their dreams. I thank you, Father, that those who are receiving it now are typing their amen, that's their sign to you that they're one of the 25. If you're one of them, go ahead and receive it quickly and type amen. If you're out there on Periscope, I want to see the hearts going, going, going. I want to see the amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead and receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. In Jesus' mighty name. And God's people say, say, amen. 
the first thing is that the dream from God, uh, how do the, 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 number one, there's assurance. Like I said a few days ago, if you dream a dream from God, you wake up, there's peace, there's assurance, there's calmness, there's peace. Number two, in a godly dream, there may be a speech of assurance, fear not, fear not, fear not. Sometimes God would appear and people are frightened and the angel would say, fear not. So there's a assurance of fear not. As someone said, there are 365 fear nots in the Bible, one for each day. Hallelujah. Fear not. There's one piece too. There's a speech of assurance. Number three, God would identify himself. I am the God of Abraham, thy father. Genesis twenty-eight thirteen. I am the God of Abraham, thy father. A demonic spirit will not identify itself. In a satanic dream, you will not hear anyone say to you, fear not. In fact, the reason why satanic dreams are so horrible is that they come with such hatred and such wickedness. Hallelujah. They're always in a hurry because they know that if they don't move fast, the angels are going to get them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They come in split seconds. And the purpose of satanic dreams is to cause problems. The thief cometh but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. There's a woman watching me. You've been dreaming about dogs biting at your clothes, grabbing your clothes, or a lot of dog activity. As the Lord liveth, I rebuke that dream. I cancel that demonic attack, that witchcraft attack. I command that the thunder of God scatter that dream and that devil and that satanic witchcraft, occultic, enchanting, demonic, satanic power that is trying to destroy you. I declare your freedom. I believe somebody is receiving it. I declare your freedom in the name of Jesus. I declare your freedom right now. I command you to be loosed and released. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare freedom, I declare victory, that you will no more be afflicted, you will no more be attacked, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As somebody else, you always dream of people pursuing you. I command, in the name of Jesus, that those pursuing you be pursued by God. So lift your right hand and say, in the name of Jesus, Father God, pursue my pursuers. Yeah, say that. What? Yeah. Pursue those pursuing me, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pursue those pursuing me. That should be your prayer. And I, I agree with you that your enemies will become God's enemies. And those pursuing you will be pursued by God. Those troubling you will be troubled by God. In the name of Jesus. You have three dogs pursuing you with people. That's witchcraft. And we rebuke it. We command the earth to open up and swallow them. In Jesus' mighty name. And God's people said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Is anybody out there receiving it on Periscope? Glory be to God. Godly dreams, number four, reaffirm the generational blessing. If you look at Genesis chapter 12, you'll find that God repeated the same things to Jacob as he did to his father. Genesis 12, 1 to 2. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy father's house, thy kindred, and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. So you find that a godly dream will speak to your generational 
blessing. In other words, a godly dream will speak to your future. To speak to your future, hallelujah. In Genesis 12, 7, the Lord said unto Abraham, unto thy seed, generational, unto thy seed will I give this land. So a godly dream speaks to your past, your present, your future. It, write this down. A godly dream is all encompassing. A godly dream is, comes with a full package. However, the devil uses your past against you. His aim is to take you out so that you do not get to your future. God speaks into our future. The devil doesn't speak into our future. So that's a major quality of godly dreams. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. A man in military clothes, somebody's writing, a man in military clothes, clothes if, if, if there's any a dream of arrest, a soldiers trying to arrest you, policemen trying to arrest you, in the name of Jesus, we command God to arrest your arresters in Jesus' name. Say it, Father, in the name of Jesus, I command, I declare, I decree, I prophesy that all my arresters be arrested right now in the name of Jesus. Father, arrest my arresters in Jesus' mighty name. And God's people said a big amen, amen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Another quality of godly dreams is that a godly dream seeks to enrich and fulfill your life. A godly dream builds up. A demonic dream strips down. If you wake up after a dream, you feel violated, you feel raped, you feel attacked, you feel beaten up, you feel robbed, then that dream is not from God. Definitely not from God. No matter how beautiful it is. You must measure the level of peace you have after waking up. No matter how frightening it is, when you wake up after having a godly dream, there's something that will give you the assurance that this is just another dream. I, I remember dreams from when I was a little boy. Godly dreams. Hallelujah. You will have a certain confidence that your tomorrow will be all right. Somehow you will know that God is with you just as he told Jacob that he would be with him. Hallelujah. In other words, godly dreams don't bring panic. They don't bring fear. They don't bring uh, some form of tension, misery, being depressed, you know, just going around all day wondering what had happened to you. No, 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 no. Don't forget, as a boy, little boy, teenager, Joseph dreamed dreams that changed his life forever. How did he know that those dreams came from God? Joseph's brothers knew. His father knew. How did they know? It, they had certain qualities that confirmed that those dreams are from God. His dream featured sheaves and plants, symbols from the natural world, God always uses nature to speak to his children. Trees, rivers, plants, stars, the sun, the moon. There must be something in the Hebrew mindset that once you see a bundle of sheaves, it means a human being. Remember that human beings are like trees. We're planted in the house of the Lord to grow and flourish. Hallelujah. Jesus said that we should pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest and ask him to send more workers into the fields because the harvest is great. So Jesus uses the same language that talks about some metaphors that are here on earth. The same thing happened when Jesus began to talk about the stars. He said, his father said, are you saying that your mother and I and your brothers will bow down to you? Jacob knew, because in that culture, the sun signifies the glory of the man, the moon signifies the glory of the woman, and of course the stars, the glory of the children. No wonder the Bible says that the stars 
are the sons of God. Job 38, verse 7. Job 38, verse 7. Now, let me give you another major, major quality of godly dreams. Godly dreams come in colors. Colors are very important to God. And a godly dream or satanic dream or soulish dream, uh, when they come from God, they, do, they, don't have, they, don't, they are gray, they are black. You don't remember the vivid, any vivid colors. Or they are fuzzy. Thank you. Simply foy. First time on Periscope. You're very welcome. Hallelujah. God bless you. Very beautiful name. God is the source of all colors and all light. After you dream, ask yourself these questions. Did I see any colors? Was it dark? If it was dark and colorless, then it may not be from God. Revelation talks about the different things. Revelation chapter uh, 4, let's look at verse 3. And he that, he, that, he that sat was to look upon like a jasper, a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. A rainbow, emerald is green, and all the other colors, white and gold, and rainbows, look at uh, Revelation 4, verse 5. Revelation 4, verse 5. I'm using the word a lot today. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Jasper is red. Sardine stone red, emerald green. There was a rainbow. A rainbow has seven colors. Can you imagine? Red, blue, green, yellow, orange, violet, purple. Look at the richness of the colors around God. And God is seated on the throne with bright lights coming out of them. Heaven must be very colorful. Of course, it is very colorful. Our God is a colorful God. Look at the stars, the moons, the flowers. Look at the beautiful, the way the sky looks on a beautiful sunny day. Look at the moon, the stars, the flowers. Only God can combine pink and yellow and green and purple all at the same time. God is a very colorful God. And you notice that there's a lot of green around God. Green is the color of life. God hates darkness. Satan loves darkness. God hates darkness. Satan loves darkness. Look at all the colors in Genesis chapter 1 when God created the grass, the trees, the colors of the seas, the heavens. Suddenly, the all of creation burst forth in beautiful colors. Why would God use colors to speak to you? Because colors make a strong impression on your mind. God uses colors. Oh, Naya, thank you. She put up a beautiful rainbow right there. Three rainbows. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God uses colors to make an impact so we don't forget. Hallelujah. Look at the blue waters, clear waters, radiant flowers, barks of trees, green leaves, bristling in colors. Look at summer. Hallelujah. He uses colors to make a, a strong impression. Satanic dreams are gray or, or in black and white. They don't, don't have colors. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. When you wake up and satanic dreams are just tracking fear, they are full of uh, just fear that is not of God. Is anybody still giving us the hearts up there on Periscope World? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. 
Hallelujah. Dreams from God, they have colors. If you have sounds, they are very beautiful sounds, clear sounds. And somebody says, you can't remember your dreams. We speak the blood of Jesus to clean up and cleanse your dream channel so you can dream and remember. It's not that you don't dream. Dreams are forgotten. Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. Now, write this down, please. For every season of your life. Hello, Rose, Rosemary. Hello, Corinne. My two people from Connecticut just signed up on Facebook at the same time. Glad to see you both. Uh, Rose, I spent, sent you your dream interpretations yesterday. Hope you got them. Praise the Lord. When you dream uh, from God, you, 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 you see yourself uh, for every season in your life, you will have dreams. For every season, there are times you dream of greatness. There are times you dream of sowing. Yes, she got them. There are times you dream of struggling. There are times you dream of afflictions. There are times you dream of challenges. Greetings from Thailand. Minash, God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 We speak revival over Thailand in Jesus' mighty name. For every season, I mean, you notice that, let me give you an example. The spinsters, bachelors, they dream a lot about getting married because that's the next phase of their lives. Students dream a lot about passing exams and writing exams and passing. That's the uh, businessmen always dream of contracts and businesses and traveling and, and all. So everybody's prayer point is different. Depends on the stage and the phase of your life. Those believing God for children are always dreaming of babies and pregnancy and all of that. So dreams, I can read your dream journal for, for, one, for one month and know exactly where you are. Dreams from God, please write this down. Another quality is that they are a mirror of your spiritual progress. If you're growing in power, have you ever dreamt where you just fought off uh, 20 people and you pushed them all off and you overcame them and God gave you victory? Uh, if you dream about being naked, somebody's asking you, Ginny Napier, where are you from? Please tell me where you're watching from. On Facebook, if you dream of nakedness, it's just because you're feeling vulnerable. Again, that is a dream that shows where you are. You feel insufficient. You feel vulnerable. You feel unable. You feel that what you have is not enough. Hallelujah. So dreams show exactly where you come from. I always long for you to come on, come online. Thank you. What, what, what country are you from? Anytime you miss me. Minash, you can always go back to the archives on Facebook and watch it. Hallelujah. Or you go to um, Periscope and watch it. Eugene in Napier. Okay. Hey. All right. I see you're using another name. All right. God bless you. All right. Hallelujah. I didn't know it was you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Please share on Facebook. And on Periscope, please invite your followers. Some people use names that are pseudonyms. In other words, another name, a pen name, you know, a name to hide under. And that's fine with me. I ain't got no problem with that. Praise the Lord. Just be blessed. That's the most important thing. Good morning, Elder Talma from New Orleans. God bless you. Hallelujah. Someone saw you in a dream, Ogechi. Lying down sick with cotton wool stuffed into your nostrils. We rebuke that plan of hell. That's not your portion in Jesus' name. You need to go on a fast. You need to pray. Your spiritual life is drying up. You need the personal revival. Go on a retreat if you can or fast for three days and ask God to heal that image, that person who is sick, spiritually sick in Jesus' name. Now, anybody dreaming of death and dying right now, in the name of Jesus, declare, say in Jesus' name, everybody say in Jesus' name, I rebuke every dream of death 
and dying every dream of accident. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. I reject it in Jesus' name. I declare that it shall not stand. It shall not come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. And God's people said amen. Now I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus that no dream from the pit of hell against you shall stand nor come to pass in Jesus' name. Just say amen somebody out there. I just need five people to say amen. Dreams of heaven are a way of preparing you for the next level. So when you have a, a lot of dreams about heaven and flying in the sky and flying airplanes, any dream about heights are, are promotion dreams, dreams about elevation. Of course, any dream about falling, of descending, of uh, c crashing, uh, coming down, those are descending dreams. Hallelujah. And you don't want that to happen in your life. Glory be to God. If you're getting commissioned into ministry, you find yourself wearing a lot of military uh, clothing, dressed like a soldier, riding a military motorbike, or driving a military car. Those are signs to show that you're being prepared to go into ministry. If you get thrown into water, you have been thrown into ministry. Most people don't want to go into ministry smiling. No, they don't want to go into ministry smiling. So he shows them a scene where they're standing or waiting in the water, and then they get thrown into water. I, I went into ministry kicking and screaming, didn't want to preach. Okay, you're from Canada, Eugenie. God bless you. Hallelujah. I went into ministry screaming, kicking, didn't want to do it. And here we are 20 something years later to God be the glory. I am glad that I'm a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am so honored, what a privilege to be speaking to you today about Jesus and Jesus alone. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Another quality of godly dreams is that it's often repeated. When God speaks, he has no problem repeating it. Pharaoh had two dreams with the same meaning. Pharaoh had two dreams with the same meaning in Genesis 41. Genesis 41. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Mm. Glory be to God. When God repeats the same dream, when God repeats the same dream, it means that it's about to come. I said that earlier the other day. It means that it's, it has been established and it is settled. It is a dream from God that promises good things. So begin to praise him and thank him. It does a dream. If it's not a dream you want, then begin to come against it, tell God no. Now, people wonder, why would God show me a bad dream? God is not showing you a bad dream. He's giving you a warning. He's giving you an alert. He's giving you a heads up so that you can pray and cancel it. Let me say it again. God allows us to have bad dreams so we can do something about it. God will alert you and show you what the enemy is planning so you can do something about what the enemy is planning against you real quick and in time and on time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So it's not a bad thing. God would alert you. He's giving, showing you, a, no, he, God is not the author of bad dreams. But he allows you or open your eyes to show you what the enemy is doing and what they are planning. Don't forget, it takes about between seven days to ten days for any dream to manifest in the natural. Some take longer. There are dreams that take days. There are dreams that take months. I don't have time to go into that. There are dreams that take years, five years. Some take ten. Some take twenty some take a hundred years, yeah, mm-hmm. 
Some take five, some take one year. It depends. Uh, hallelujah. When God gave Abraham a vision about his children going into captivity to a foreign land and coming back, they didn't, he didn't know that it was going to take 430 years. Somebody sent a question on Periscope. How do we know that the bad warning dream is not from the devil? This is what I do. Once it's a bad dream, or is a dream that doesn't sit good or well with me, or is a dream of warning or a revelation. Once I don't like it, listen to me, I come against it, I reject it, I renounce it, I break it, I declare that it shall not come to pass, neither shall it stand. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Please wish Catherine is right here on Periscope. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Someone had a dream that she was told in a dream that they have paid for her life and she got shot. That is an assurance dream. God is saying to you, Jesus had paid for your life. You don't belong to yourself and you're not going to die. So when you wake up, cancel that dream, command the bullets to go back to those who sent them in Jesus' name. Yes, and somebody had a dream. I saw a flyer and the voice says, I'm pouring your spirit into the flyer. That's awesome. God can use anything, a flyer, to get his power over to those he needs to get the, the power over to. Hallelujah. Let me close with this and then we begin to break your, some of your dreams down. When God gives you a godly dream, he... he, 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 he um, uh, let's, he, he's, a, he's concerned about your well-being. Hallelujah. Oh, Sister Catherine, God bless you on praise. I see, I see. He, he's giving you a, he's a, God cares. God cares for us. God loves us. God wants the best for us. So he gives us dreams. Remember I said that dreams are languages or signs of intimacy. God gives dreams to assure us to love us to speak to us to the, uh, of course uh, it's very um it is very sensitive to talk about romantic dreams without going over into an area but god loves if you read the song of solomon you see, or songs of solomon you see how god moves in dreams and signs and symbols of love of God, but let's not go there because some people now go and begin to get too deep into it and they saw a man and the man kissed them. No, no, no. That's not the intent of God. Hallelujah. Um, okay, I had a dream shooting a huge snake about 300 yards long. In the Good. Congratulations. That devourer, that witchcraft spirit, that demonic satanic power in your family you cut it off and it died. Glory be to God. Dream, prepare. You dream preparing smoke fish and set it before your father. That's wonderful. That is awesome. Jesus always will feed people with fish. Again, let me say this. God will use your profession and speak to you in the language of your profession. Somebody, a man, a man's shadow watching over you. Well, command that shadow if it's not from God to vanish. In Jesus' name, uh, an attorney, God will use the language of attorneys to speak to you. A farmer, God will use the language of farming and agriculture to speak to you. Uh, if you're a, a medical doctor, God will use those type of languages to speak to you. So that's another sign that that dream is from God. It's, he speaks to you at your level. You dreamt of seeing a writing in the clouds saying you're hungry. Then you saw a white staircase leading to the sky. Another, you saw a white bus. That's good. God is saying he wants your worship. Spend time in worship and praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you have questions, I've seen stars in the sky, so many of them. Awesome. Jesus is getting ready to come. That is a warning dream. How, you, how can you pray for something and then someone else gets it? Well, I don't know how what happened, but if it's in the dream, you need to pray for restoration, that your blessing is not stolen, and there's no manipulation to divert your miracle. It's possible. 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you need to uh, text me your dream, please text me at 404. Uh, where is that paper where we, we have the information? 404. Oh, here we go. 404 935 2878. 935 2878. 404. Text me or email me at kingofisrael14 at gmail.com. Kingofisrael14 at gmail.com. Kingofisrael14 at gmail.com. Dot com. Yes, and Jesus is getting ready to come. If you are not born again, I want to invite you to a royal lifestyle of being a child of God. Say after me, Lord Jesus, forgive my sins. I repent of my sins. Please wash me with your blood. I receive you. As my personal Lord and Savior, give me the grace to live for you. Devil, I don't belong to you anymore. I belong to Jesus from today. In Jesus' mighty name, and God's people said, Amen. Please repost your dream on Periscope. Hallelujah. Let me get to it in a second. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I treasure your time. And that's why I make sure that anybody who invests, even if it's five minutes watching, that you would get something out of it, no matter how many. And then you can extend it after we go off air. You can always text me or email me your dream. And then uh, tomorrow is Sunday. If you're not Hallelujah. If you're not, if you're in the Atlanta area, please come worship with us. We would love to host you. Our website is glorytoglorychurch.org. Glorytoglorychurch.org. If you want to write me by snail mail, write me through the post office, that is. You can write me at P.O. Box 2650, P.O. Box 2650, Duluth. Georgia 30096. I'll say it again. Okay, it's right there on the, uh, the screen on Facebook. Somebody please put it up on Periscope. Hallelujah. Uh, tomorrow morning, I will be, I will not be here. Tomorrow morning, I'll be broadcasting from church, from Glory House in Atlanta. So you, if you want to join us on Facebook, you go to Glory House World Church Facebook page. You will not see me on, my, on this Facebook page right here tomorrow on, on Sunday. You will see me. The P.O. Box is P.O. Box 2650. P.O. Box 2650, 2650, Duluth, Georgia, 30096. 30096. On um, Periscope, I will not be on this page tomorrow morning. I'm not on social media on Sunday mornings. I broadcast from church, from Glory House World Church. You go to somebody put up Glory House uh, Facebook page or handle and Periscope handle for those watching. Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. I appreciate all the pastors, evangelists, preachers, teachers, who joined us, all of my deacons, deaconesses, ministers. Uh-huh. Your Periscope, go to GHWC, Glory House World Church Media. Glory House World Church Media, Sunday mornings. That's where I you'll find me. Hallelujah, Evangelist Thelma from New Orleans. God bless you, Evangelist Bemi. God bless you. Uh, I saw Deaconess Esther. And I, I don't remember all of the Glory House ministers I saw. Glory House Media. Glory House Media. G-H-W-U-C. Glory House World Church Media. Okay. And uh, our PO Box is there. I have, uh, you're having dreams about colors. That's wonderful. That's, that, that's a beautiful dream. Uh -huh. From God. That is one of the qualities of a dream from God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Okay, anybody else you have? There was somebody who had put up a dream 
from Periscope. I didn't get to it. Okay, hallelujah. Glory House World Church Media uh, on Sunday mornings. From Monday morning, it's going to be awesome. All of next week, we're going to be dealing with powers behind money, how to get your money released to you, powers that hinder money, all of next week, so on and so forth. So get ready. Let people know. I see money coming to you. Glory be to God. Don't forget, you must go to church on Sunday morning. You must go to church on Sunday morning. Go with your tithe. Go with our offering. And take time to appreciate your pastor. Somebody said, how about no dreams? If you don't have, okay, if you don't dream at all, that's not healthy. So right now we speak a restoration of your dream channel. Father, give your people dreams from heaven. Instruction dreams. Let's pray right now. Instruction dreams. Revelation dreams. Restoring dreams. Healing dreams. Deliverance dreams. Victory dreams. Breakthrough dreams. Dreams of favor. Dreams of elevation. Dreams of lifting. In the name of Jesus, Father, give your people dreams from heaven. Speak to us in a way that we can understand and comprehend what you're saying in Jesus' mighty name. Give us inventions in dreams. Mm. Give us business ideas in dreams. Show your people who to talk to. Show your people where to go. Show your people the solution. So you show, show your people strategy. Show your people clues. Show your people directions. Show your people revelations. Show your people what the enemy has been using against them. Give them exposition dreams. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you receive it, say amen right now. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Mm, we give you honor. Now say in the name of Jesus, every dream from the pit of hell from last night till this morning, I cancel them. They shall not stand. They shall not come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. And God's people said, amen, amen, amen. The three people watching God is going to give you a dream Saturday into Sunday morning three of you, and it will be a dream of revelation and of instruction on what to do concerning a particular financial situation you're facing. Hallelujah. There's somebody as God is going to give you a dream. In that dream, the enemy will come against you like before, and you say something that is empowered by the Spirit of God. And it will silence the voice of the enemy for the rest of your life. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you for it. The voice of the enemy, saith the Lord, shall be silenced in your life. The voice of the enemy shall be silenced in your life. There are 40 people that are going to type up an amen. And that is an agreement with this word. Hallelujah. 40 of you. The voice of the enemy shall be silenced in your life. I'll say it three more times. The voice of the enemy shall be silenced in your life. Hello, Adrian. The voice of the enemy shall be silenced in your life. The voice of the enemy shall be silenced in your life. The voice of the enemy shall be silenced in in your life, you will not hear the voice of the enemy accusing you, attacking you, come on now, harassing you, reminding you of your past, petitioning against you. Hallelujah. Bombarding your mind, confusing you, misdirecting you. Taking you to a whole new, challenging you, frustrating you, hallelujah. Giving you bad dreams every night. 
Come on, receive it right now. The voice of the enemy is being silenced right now in your life. In the name of Jesus. The voice of the enemy. The dreams from the enemy. The visions from the enemy. The symbols, the signs, the worries, the pressures from the enemy. They are being silenced right now in the life of somebody. That voice from your past telling you you're suffering because of your past or because of the things you did wrong before. If any man be in Christ Jesus, all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. The voice of the enemy that brings all those dream nightmares and bad dreams and fighting every night and you wake up tired and you wake up drained, drained of energy and you're fighting and you're with strangers and you're eating and you're drinking and you're fussing and you're fighting every night. I rebuke it. I command it to die. In the name of Jesus, the voice of the enemy is silenced in your life. In the name of Jesus, all the signs, all the symbols of the devil, they are silenced right now in your life. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. The voice of the enemy is silence in your life. I, I can't get off of it because somebody needs to receive it. Hallelujah. The voice of the enemy is silence in your life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's just spend a minute and give God some praise. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. You're the King of Kings. You're the Lord of Lords. You're the mighty God, you're the faithful God, you're the wonderful God, you're the glorious God, you're the merciful God, there's none like you, beautiful God, merciful God, great God, compassionate God, abundant God, merciful God, we worship you, God is faithful. God is wonderful. God is powerful. Your word is awesome. Your name is beautiful. Your name is a strong tower. Your name is our fortress. There's no God like you. You're more than enough for us. Abundant God. Glorious God. Oh, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We give you praise. We worship you from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sin. The name of the Lord shall be praised forever and ever. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. And God's people said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, I love the way you're praising him right now. Glory, 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 glory be to God forevermore. We have no other God but one God. His name is Jesus. We give him praise. We give him glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, our Father, for everybody watching. Thank you for their families. Thank you for their children, grandchildren, brothers, sisters, uncles, nephews, parents, Thank you for the churches. Thank you for revival that you're bringing. Hallelujah. Pastor Vitus Olumba, Dr. Vitus Olumba from Nigeria. You're welcome, sir. We appreciate you. We're rounding off, praising God, giving him praise. Father, we, we will not get tired of praising you. Even if you don't do nothing else, you have done more than enough. You saved us. You have kept us. You have blessed us. You've prospered us. You've loved us. You've put up with us. You are so worthy. That's the word. You are so good. You are so kind. You are so wonderful. You are so merciful. Joshua, how are you? God bless you. Oh, yeah, ye. We give you praise, our Father. We appreciate you. We exalt you. We magnify you. We give you glory and honor. Blessed be the name forevermore. Hallelujah. Sister Comfort over there in London, give God some praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I give God praise for using me to be a blessing to you and for using you to be a blessing to me. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Olumba. To God be the praise. And God's people said, Amen. Dr. Olumba, you will have victory. And I heard you say, Amen. You will have victory. You will have victory. You will have your testimony. Your testimony will be complete. The story has not ended. The story has just begun. I see a spirit of Joseph. The crown of Joseph will come to you. The victory of Joseph is your victory. The portion of Joseph is your portion. I, I just feel like speaking that to you today. Glory be to God. Of course, where you worship God, the prophetic unction comes. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The glory of Joseph shall come to you. The glory of Joseph shall come to you. Somebody is speaking victory, Elizabeth, for their brother. I agree with you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I'm trying to close this, but there's something that is still coming to me for somebody. There's something coming to somebody. I'm trying to close it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I see somebody on Facebook praising the Lord right now. Praise him, praise him, praise him. We give God praise. He's wonderful. He's wonderful. Somebody's writing, Lord, help me. Help you in what area? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If you received anything on Facebook, I want you to give God a thumbs up, a heart or something to show him that you received the blessing of today. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, all of you who are going through trouble, afflictions, challenges, issues of life, Tam, receive it. Tamara, receive it. The victory of Joseph will be your victory. The victory of Joseph will be your victory. There's a woman I see, you're crying, shedding tears. The victory of Joseph will be your victory. The same way Jesus, Joseph was wrongly accused, sold, lied against, thrown into the dungeon, but came out victorious with his hands lifted. That will be your story. I'm feeling it. Hallelujah. That will be your story. You're coming out with your hands lifted up. You're coming out victorious. You're coming out victorious. You're coming out victorious. Listen, whoever you are, you're coming out victorious. Hallelujah. Crystal, you will come out victorious. Eugenie, you will come out victorious. Esther, you will come out victorious. Fredlin, you will come out victorious. Inspirator 06, you're coming out victorious. Lunis, Killer Smith. Hallelujah. Adekoye, you're coming out victorious. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Bisola, you're coming out victorious. Thelma, you're coming out victorious. Whether I call your name or not, receiving, receiving, Junior, you're coming out victorious. Please receive it so I can have a release to close this. You're coming out victorious. You're coming out victorious. In the name of Jesus, you're coming out victorious. Your weeping season is over. Your season of joy has come. Adrian, you're coming out victorious. Ejiro, you're coming out victorious. Inspirator 06, you're coming out victorious. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Joker, you're coming out victorious. Omo, you're coming out victorious. Esther, you're coming out victorious. Dami, you're coming out victorious. Hallelujah. Minash, you're coming out victorious. Comfort, you're coming out victorious. Receive it now, people. 
Hallelujah. Neha, you're coming out victorious. Victorious. You're going to be the victor. You're coming out victoriously. You're coming out victorious. Whichever way you want to use it. Hey, Jiro, you're vi Rosemary, you're coming out victorious. Patience. You're coming out victorious. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, Bola, you're coming out victorious. Come on, off young. Come on, come on. El Chico, you're coming out. Chubado, you're coming out victorious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hurry up and receive it. It's lifting, it's lifting. I'm about to close now. RDN, you're coming out victorious. Hallelujah. Shadeo Diese, go forth in the power of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Romania, you're coming out victorious. Catherine, you're coming out victorious. Hallelujah. Julie, you're coming out victorious. Ademola, you're coming out victorious. Glorious World Church, the plenty place, you're coming out victorious in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Can somebody give God a hand clap before we go? I feel something has just gone out to bless you. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. If you can't clap, type it. Put a sign for hand clap right there on the screen. God sees it all. Princess Mo, I see that. You're coming out victorious too. Hallelujah. Glory. If you can't clap, type it. If you can't type, clap. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It says Saturday, I Jema no Bosho Kappa Igarada. Susan Susan Yama, you're coming out victorious. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. KM Solutions. Yes, you're coming out victorious. Glory be to God. Mm-hmm. Peace is some, is it 591? You're 91. You're coming out victorious. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. I believe I can go now. I feel ah, glory be to God. Father, we give you praise. Bless your people. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. Bennett yelling. You're coming out victorious. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that is New York time. 10 a.m. New York time or Eastern Standard Time from the Sanctuary of Glory House World Church in Atlanta. God bless you. Have a nice day out there on Periscope. Thank you, Facebook. God bless you. Bye-bye.